you read it in, in the message version, verse 1 of Mark 4, where we started. Verse, let me take verse 1 and 2. It says, he went back to teaching by the sea. A crowd built up to such a great size that he had to get into an offshore boat. Hmm. Using the boat as a pulpit, this is the message version, as the people pushed to the water's edge, he taught by using stories, comma, many stories. Now look at the difference in the King James. It says, And he began to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine." So when you look at the setting of the story, when you look at the, set, the setting, uh, it was so important to get to the seed, to receive this seed, if you will, that they went out of their way, came out of their little townhouses, if you will, because they was on the seaside, and they came to where the seed, or the word was being sown. Now, to the point, to the point, when you look at uh, the scripture, the scripture makes it very clear here how desperate they were to get it. To the point where the crowd was, in a sense, pressing towards him just to hear the word. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Woohoo! I wanted to, wanted to know how this was going to fit in. I pray the day that that same spirit comes up in this place where people want to sit as close as they could to get to this seed. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come out here on Sundays, got about five empty. This person, empty, empty person, person, empty, 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 empty. And then it'd be people comfortable in the back. So it makes me question uh, how interested that you are to protect your seed and to get more seed. Now, I believe that if something materially was passed out, people wouldn't hang out in the back. But they would, they, they, they would, they would sleep outside in tents. We can start having a uh, service at midnight. We'll launch a campaign saying the new series is starting at midnight on the 13th. And guess what? People will be out there on the 12th in line, in tents. But the word, the word is not received like that in the hearts of the people. But this is how they received it in this text. They recognized the blessing that was on the word. So the next time that enemy try to get in your spirit and say, it's okay to be late. It's okay to be lackadaisical. It's okay to be laid back. It's okay to be cool, set back, cute, and all this type of stuff. You think about, you have just lost your urgency to receive the word. So the text said, huh, they, was, they was coming to him. Man, they was coming. To the point where they had him backed up. He said, hey, listen, fellas, I'm about to get in this boat, you know. That told me right there, it wasn't, they wasn't even, <laughs> woo -hoo, uh, they, they, they wasn't ready. That particular crowd wasn't ready to see a walk on water miracle. Because we know from Scripture that Jesus could have kept backing up on the water. Could have kept backing up because he had that type of power. But they wasn't ready to receive that type of seed. Oh, so he said, fellas, listen, we're going to have to get in this boat and cast, you know, just cast off a little bit, you know, because the crowd is getting, getting a little close, and they all need to hear it. But he knew that the word should take you 
right to the edge. That's what the word does. It takes you to the edge. And guess what? Christ meets you at the edge. So if you are not even in the room where the seed is being sown, then you are, no, you are not nowhere near being close to the edge to receive it.